Hello everybody, welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Tenacious Viking, your mayor and host. Well, I, I, I showed the start of this a few weeks ago uh, from scratch because there's a huge update and I was very skeptical about whether this update was going to work because what I saw was this area with just a few resources, just very limited resources, and I went, wow, this is going to stink. But it turns out they knew what they were doing. This is probably one of the best game updates I have seen in terms of gameplay, playability, uh, fun. Um, I have really enjoyed playing this, so much so that I pretty much put my life on hold to play this. And I am now at the point where I am about uh, halfway to getting being able to start building the Omni Temple, which is the, um, the goal of the game. Um, and in doing so, I discovered that they, yeah, that they did know what they were doing. There is a, a good balance of resources and and ways to to get resources collected and uh, and make the things you need to progress in the game because that progress has gone really well. I am at base level ten. I got no more research to do, um, no more updates, um, and uh, and I really enjoyed playing this. Now, the trick is each source of raw material, like, for example, this iron ore here, it isn't very big. But if you get pickaxes to the mine, you can mine deeper and still get more. I am actually, uh, excuse me, where is it? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like this mine is that mined all of the surface rock, but I'm still getting rock out of it because I have the pickaxes. Uh, this one's still doing a lot of mana collection, which is good. Um, it, so I, you know, I could either move this mine over or build another one and and contribute to to mining more faster, but I don't really need to because I'm getting enough. Um, here I'm doing iron, and I could do mana, but I'm not. <laughs> here I'm doing uh, the uh, blue or the water stone, and uh, and rock. Here, here's the rock. It's gone, <laughs> um, but I'm still getting a lot of rock out of it because I have pickaxes. Getting pickaxes to all the mines is the biggest pain. But what I did was I just had a, a barn that holds them, and every time I added a mine, I could just run a little guy or a or a wagon to to the mine with pickaxes and. It doesn't take long to fill with pickaxes, and then you don't need very many trips. One of the, you know, the first season I played, everything had to be connected with these conveyors, and they're fine, but they're a real pain to build. Um, this game, fairly quickly, I was able to get airships, and, and they hold, you know, up to 400 of something, so they make great storage facilities, and then the uh, the airship itself, uh, like this one for example, um, they fly slow, but they carry a hundred. So you know, I have two airships um, point to point. On some of them, yeah, I've got I've got this one is returning, this one is heading too. This is all of the uh, coal in for for all of this stuff is right here in this barn. That's why there isn't much there, because I'm <laughs> taking coal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places from here. And I, I probably should take, be taking coal to more places than that. But I was able to collect it all right here with the airships. Um, and, I, and I could you know, divide that in half and have two systems and two, two barns, maybe one on the other, on the other side. Uh, here, but I haven't needed to, so so I haven't. Doing the same thing with rock. I have two uh, rock core of mines uh, feeding this, and they're not keeping up very well. <laughs> but they're uh, they're they're trying. Okay, here's the thing: is the, <laughs> the game shows you the direct route, but they fly in a square pattern. So uh, this one is going to get here, I think, ahead of the other one. Nope, they're gonna they're gonna tie. And and that's actually that's kind of interesting too. I don't know who's going to be first. Who do you think is going to win? This gonna, this one's going to win. Nope. They just hover over and wait. I wish they would get <laughs> staggered, but they don't. So now I have two hundred, almost two hundred stone here. Uh, I have one is feeding to uh, to make bricks. It takes ten. St oh, that's a that's the. Uh, well, why is that over there? Huh, that's odd. I must have uh, a second one delivering here. 
because I'm not needing stone brick right now. Uh, but I also have um, stone being built here. I, I may have just a wagon. Yeah, I have just a wagon uh, hauling these uh, uh, up. And I'm not even sure where I'm going. I should have. Okay, over to here. All right. Um, to build jewelry is what you need these uh, stone for. The necklace is a, is a big one. The one thing I haven't figured out. Uh, if you um, direct stone or uh, crystals into, into more than one crystal into a building, they mix up. They just get all mixed together. And that, that takes away con control for you. I mean, you, you can't, can't do anything with that. Uh, boy, this is kind of a busy, uh, whoa, mana. I need more mana in there, I think. It's almost slowing it down. Well, I got two of these in here for some reason. Um, what are these things called? Connectors. Um, I don't think I need more than the one, but oh well. It's working. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, so I've had to build separate buildings uh, for, for each type of crystal that it needs. Uh, for example, here... I'm making the, uh, what do they call that, the uh, enchanted book. And uh, here I'm making um, the uh, cure spell book from it. But because the enchanted book needs mana, I couldn't build the, the, uh, the, the blue book there, uh, the cure spell book. I had to build that separately. So I'm directing finished deals uh, to both. How come I'm not using... Why am I not getting blue? Um, oh, okay. They're, they're getting there. I'm going to take a couple of these out because I, I feel like I have too many. I'd like to have a little bit of a gap. There. Gives you a little bit of room to... Maybe I should have taken one of these out of there. Okay. I was concerned because I had books building up and it's, it's just not making these very fast. Mm -hmm. um, now, this is the first time that I have been able to build my houses all around these uh, distribution buildings, the marketplace and the general store and the apothecary and the specialty goods. And then now there's a tavern where all the fancy stuff is, uh, jams and, and stews and sandwiches and cakes. All the mundane foods are at the marketplace. Uh, basic food and even raw food, juices and so on. Um, but uh, because of the way the game is, I could deplete these resources pretty quickly around here and, uh, and then build houses here. And then that's allowed me to keep all of the, uh, the buildings that are manufacturing something around the town and, and that, in turn, makes it easier to get more raw re resources to it. Um, so it's, it's been really fun to, to, to do this. Um, and I have a lot more resources available that I just don't need right now. I could, I'm making more mana than I can use. Um, I got a mana loop going around, and it's full. Um, it's, it's absolutely full. I got, and I'm making, adding additional... Uh, Okay, I should probably do... Well, I guess it's working. Uh, you can also put a splitter in now into the pipes, which you could not do before. Oh, it is there. Okay, I, I, I thought I'd put one in there because it was working. You know, I just couldn't tell. I guess I wasn't close enough to tell. Um, so we have a surplus of pretty much everything. Um, even coins. I, I've never had enough coins of one or the other. It's been a lot like Banished where you... You know, every every two minutes you're short, of, you're out of something, and and then nothing works because you don't have that. But um, this is extremely well balanced, I think, um, and and quite quite easy and quite fun to, to develop um, because you have so many ways to, to deliver. I'm using trains here to uh, to get some things off the mountains and down to the <laughs> valley below. Building the tracks is automatic. You just click on the track and you just slide it along here and it builds all this automatically. The only exception is this thing right here. Uh, it, it builds it like this and then uh, if the train's going up it, here, it can't make it. So you have to build this little deal first uh, and, then, and then it'll go. Um, 
we got our coal supply there. We got our water supply in the tank. Um, it's easy to see that they filled up several different cars, and it tells you what you can do with each car. There's the water, um, and then we have another one here for. Uh, uh, for uh, coal because there's no coal up here for this thing and also I brought a bunch of pickaxes so I can distribute pickaxes to these two mines here and across this bridge to this mine that's the hardest part is getting pickaxes to all the mines um, yeah I gotta build a bridge here for pickaxe access <laughs> Whoa. And this is a feeder for uh, for uh, iron ore. Um, these guys are going to here, which is a really pretty cool complex. Um, we're getting I don't oh we're getting coal delivered uh, here. Um, for access to these, and then I have coal direct to these two. Um, but I'm also getting iron ore delivered here, and it's going in turn to a uh, uh, nail nail manufacturer and a forge, and also um, iron plates. And then these are all holding all of that. Um, still don't have any. Oh, okay. Still don't have any um, conveyor belt, cloth conveyor belts. I'm, I'm delivering them here to make uh, the the metal conveyor belt. But I'm not getting any, and I'm not sure why. What is going on? I oh, um, maybe we don't have anything for some reason. I don't know. Let me build something to uh, to deliver these. I think I built the belt to deliver directly to the machine shop, and I just didn't think that. Wait a minute, I have to have somebody delivering stuff to there first. Oops. So we're gonna we're gonna get some more um, of the metal conveyor belts. Uh, I've got some of the magic conveyor belts and some uh, some mana a mana pipe uh, belt. I could use more. I don't know why it's not making more. Um, oh, I don't have mana coming in here. Why? I thought I had mana coming in. That's not going to help. It's not what I need. Wait. Oh, I need that for the magic conveyor belt. And then, man, a pipe. I got I to gotta have another forge for that then. So I'll have to add that. Uh, am I making pipe? Where am I making pipe? Full of reinforced planks. <laughs> I like that. I might uh, might move the pipe manufacturer somewhere else and figure out where I'm making them because I can't remember offhand. I don't think I'm making trying to make them here. No, you can't make them here. I don't know where you make them even. Maybe I can make this. Nah. Mm. Oh no, that's mana pipe. Okay, so I don't I don't know where I'm making the pipe, but uh, I'm not I can't get uh, mana in here, so I can't do that. <clears throat> this is making the Omni Stone, and it's it's full. Um, I've had no problem getting enough of all the crystals um, in here to make this stuff. None at all. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I have uh, one of everything, or 50 of everything in here, just as an emergency. Um, a lot of kitchens, uh, and that's that's the great thing is you can't you can't get um, you can't put more than one crystal in a building because it mixes them. So you have to make separate buildings, but that's okay. It's much more efficient to do that, to build a separate building than to add more people and build more things and get at least 16 different ingredients in. That's how I used to play it, because I thought you kind of had to. But now it's much more efficient just to build separate buildings where, you know, close to where the resources are, if you can, 
and uh, that's what I did here. I have two medicine huts here uh, rather than one so that I can, um, I can, because I need, don't I need a, yeah, I need a mana here, and I need, um, the water crystals here. So I had to build two separate ones, but man, that's efficient to do that. I mean, I had to build a conveyor above to get fish into this stuff, but um, it's um, it's really quite remarkable how uh, how well the game plays now. Um, yes, it's still you know grindy. You still got to work at it, but it's uh, it, it seems so so readily apparent what you need to do, and there's always an, a way to do it uh, that's that's pretty easy and, and pretty efficient. Uh, I love the airships, um, even though they're slow. If you start building up a resource early enough, you will have plenty of that resource. Uh, I wanted to show you one new uh, new thing is um, cactus fruit. Um, I've got that coming down to this kitchen here. Um, and uh, making cactus jam, which sells for a lot. 25 gold coins. Uh, you got pear juice and pear jam. Um, combinations. Oh, there's a combination here that I'm making that is um, dragon punch. It's a dragon fruit, which is another new resource. Berry juice, apple juice, and it makes a dragon punch which is 20 gold coins just for fruit so there's just so many things like that that um, that are so much easier uh, to do and, and like I say this is the first time I've had actually had houses circling around um, the marketplace like this otherwise I get half of this space and then I have all kinds of other buildings right here that I think I need but because of the way the game is designed now, it's much more efficient to build the houses where you want them and then build all this other stuff around it in a, in a second circle. You can have that drawn in here. Um, and, uh, and then you can bring resources to it from anywhere. I'm not even using this uh, coal, am I? It's really strange. I should, hmm, should build a mine and just help deliver it up to here this is a central location for coal and it's <laughs> it's man uh, I can't keep I can't keep coal in it I should put a mine here and, and bring a caravan of coal up up to it and I got things scattered all over but it's it's working it's sufficient a new element is a trading post for example in this one cactus fruit which is way across the map can make you antidote um, ointment can make you nails and cheese interestingly enough can make you books i need books but making cheese is harder i think uh, i've gotten a number of pastures each one doing one or two things whereas i used to have one pasture do four or five things um that's not very you know efficient it just it just isn't um three different sources resources here and there's two others i'm not even using Two of those are being delivered by airship because it's just much much easier, much more convenient to do that. Where is I was going to show where I'm using? Yeah, here we go. Um, herbs. I got the fast uh, conveyor belt delivering herbs because I couldn't keep up. So I actually have three medicine huts, um, making various things. Um, I can't keep cloth on hand. I'm using it too many places. Um, where did I, I have a, another I have a fishing boat somewhere too I don't remember where though don't know where I ended up with that hmm oh here it is okay got a boat right here uh, this is full so you know the fish are out here you can go out here there he goes um, so you can do that I, I guess as long as you have the boat or the barn along the shore um, you can deliver it right to it um, I'm trying to keep this full of apples. I'm taking apples three different places from here, so I'm trying to just deliver them straight to the uh, uh, got four workers, a thousand percent. Holy cow! <laughs> I had to plant more apple trees too because there weren't enough to to continuously feed, and I could still plant more. I got more space here to do that. Um, really, quite remarkable.
uh, the way the gameplay has been improved in this game. Um, it's, it's a much more joyful game. It's still busy, it's still challenging, but it's, it's just fun because there's ways to do stuff that are that are easier and more fun than they were before. Um, I may revisit this game when I actually get my Omni Temple const constructed um, to, to, and, and have maybe cleaned this up a bit and made it more efficient, uh, if I can. <laughs> so I might, I might do one more episode on this season, uh, just to show you the final, final product. But this basically is, uh, you know, we're on the home stretch here. And I wanted to show you what uh, what this game looked like, or what the map looked like, and what the game, uh, what I found the game to be like. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, welcome new subscribers, and be kind.